Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. Most of the time I focus on how the surface temperature record has been corrupted to create the appearance of warming. But the same thing has been done to the satellite record. Let's take a look at that. In a Senate hearing in 2015, Senator Ted Cruz used some of my graphs showing how the surface temperature record had been corrupted. You might recognize this graph. The blue line is the measured U.S. temperature record, and the red line is the adjusted, the one which gets released to the public. You can see how in the adjusted data the past has been cool to create the appearance of warming, which doesn't actually exist. And the graph on the left side shows the hockey stick of adjustments which are being made. And the data tampering has actually gotten much worse than it was in 2015 when Senator Cruz held his hearing. Senator Cruz also used this graph of satellite data which showed no warming for 18 years and 7 months. This graph was data from remote sensing systems and was pretty devastating for climate alarmists. Carl Mears is the head scientist at remote sensing systems and he immediately came under a huge amount of pressure to make this long hiatus of warming disappear. The other satellite data set from the University of Alabama at Huntsville was very similar, although it showed a little bit more warming than the one from remote sensing systems. As a result of this, I made this forecast on my blog on March 27, 2015. Look for the satellite data to be adjusted to bring it into compliance with the fully fraudulent surface temperatures. The Guardian is now working to discredit the University of Alabama at Huntsville so it seems likely that remote sensing systems will soon be making big changes to match the needs of the climate mafia. Bookmark this post. And I included this animated GIF which showed my prediction. I predicted that the past would be cooled and the present would be warmed. The net result being that through the magic of data tampering they would create warming where there was actually none. Dr. Roy Spencer from the University of Alabama at Huntsville made a similar prediction. He said, I expect there will soon be a revised lower troposphere product from remote sensing systems which shows enhanced warming too. Here's what I'm predicting. Neither John Christie nor I will be asked to review the paper. It will quickly sail through peer review. Our V6 paper is still not in print nearly one year after submission. And it will have many authors including climate model people and the usual model pundits, e.g. Santer which will supposedly lend legitimacy to the new data adjustments. Let's see how many of my three predictions come true. Roy Spencer and John Christie manage the other satellite temperature data set at the University of Alabama at Huntsville. Carl Mears does remote sensing systems. So this is what the data looked like back in 2015. The red line is the surface temperatures from NASA and the two lines at the bottom are the satellite data from remote sensing systems and the University of Alabama at Huntsville. As you can see, the NASA surface temperatures showed a lot of warming, whereas the satellite trends were pretty close to zero. So this is what the data looked like on November 16, 2016. The red line is remote sensing systems. And here's what the same data looked like almost three years later. The remote sensing systems data blasted up and now shows a lot of warming, just as I predicted. Here's the two graphs together. This is the 2016 version of remote sensing systems, and this is the 2019 version. So Carl Mears did to the data exactly what I predicted he would do three or four years earlier. Now let's look at what he actually did. This was taken from his climate page a few years ago. The yellow band is model predictions and the blue band is the measured satellite data. The climate models were predicting a lot of warming but the satellite data didn't show it. And if you look at the bottom you can see the text which Dr. Mears included with his diagram. Note that after 1998 the observations are likely to be below the simulated values indicating that the simulation as a whole are predicting too much warming. This was really bad news for climate alarmists for two reasons. First one being that the troposphere wasn't warming, and the second one being that the climate models don't work. So as predicted, the climate mafia got to Carl Mears and he altered his data. This is what his climate webpage shows now. He now says there is a small discrepancy between the model predictions and the satellite observations. 
Previously, he said, the observations are likely to be below the simulated values, indicating that the simulation as a whole are predicting too much warming. And he used to have this blue error band. But note that in his new data, the error band is gone. All he has is a black line replacing the blue error band from the previous graph. So now we can look at exactly what he did to alter the data. This graph superimposes the old version on top of the new version. You can see exactly what Carl Maris did. Remember the black line is the new version. He simply eliminated the error band and moved the black line up to the top of the old error band. In doing so, he made the absurd and unsupportable assumption that all of the errors in the data set were on the low side. Thus, he could throw out any concerns about the measured temperatures being too high and simply move his trend up to the high end of his old error band. This sort of data practice is laughable and absurd. He had this blue error interval in his data set for a reason, because he knew there were potential problems with the data. But when the Climate Inquisition comes knocking at your door, if you want to keep your career and your funding, you better comply. And comply he did. He gave the Climate Mafia exactly what they needed. Here's the adjustments he made in his new data set. He created a hockey stick of data tampering to produce the appearance of warming. So the satellite data has suffered exactly the same abuse as the surface temperatures. And the press jumped all over this with their usual inquisitive, investigated journalism, parroting the propaganda. Satellite confirms key NASA temperature data, the planet is warming. And after a long scare from the satellite data, all was well again in the world of climate alarmism. What we're seeing here has nothing to do with science. It doesn't even vaguely resemble science. George Orwell said, The further a society drifts from the truth, the more it will hate those who speak it. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.